Hello friends, this video on neat evolution is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from ex Let's discuss the postulates of Lamarckism. So Lamarck's theory of evolution was the first theory of evolution. So as we have seen that there, there were many different scientists who came up with different ideas, different thoughts and different theories on evolution. So Lamarck was one of the first scientists to come up with a theory of evolution. So let us look at the postulates given by Lamarck. So Lamarck's theory of evolution is also called Lamarckism. So the first postulate said that living organisms continually increase due to an internal vital force. So what was this internal vital force? Now Lamarck did not specifically tell about what exactly was this force but what he believed was an internal very crucial very critical force existed because of which the living organisms uh, they continued at their parts they continued to increase with time. The second postulate said that environment influences living organisms. So a change in environment causes change in organisms in different ways, maybe change in structure, change in behavior, uh, change in food habits. So the change in environment causes change in organisms. Third postulate said that an organ, organ used better, used more becomes better, while the ones not used are degenerated. So basically, uh, if there is something which is getting used constantly, a part of your body which is getting used constantly and for your maybe survival, for your better adaptation to the environment, so that organ will tend to become better and better with time. Whereas an organ which was not at all used with time, it will kind of degenerate or it will be in the reduced form. Right? So that was the third postulate and finally the fourth postulate was acquired characters are inherited. So the characters which an organism acquired during its lifetime either of because of either of these first three postulates maybe uh, because uh, a character or a some things, a trait which an organism acquired in its lifetime due to changes in environment or because of uh, using a particular organ over and again. So if an, a new character was acquired, so that acquired character will also get transmitted to the future generations. So these were the postulates of Lamarck's. Now let us look at some examples which had supported the Lamarck's theory which said that yes Lamarck's theory was right. So let us look at the example of the evolution of giraffes. So if you look at the giraffes so you would have seen that the long neck of the giraffes were preferred. Why? Because the long neck was something it was a trait which was used by the giraffes over and again because it was helping the giraffes for their survival so they were using that long neck over and again so their long neck was becoming better with time right and the short necked giraffes they were not making use of their short necks so that over a period of time got degenerated right Similarly, environment influences living organisms. So the environment around the giraffe was such that they could feel that there was a lot of competition for food. So in case they had a longer neck, it, it might help them. Right? So the evolution of giraffe was one example which supported Lamarckism. Disappearance of limbs in snakes. Again, this also supported Lamarckism. So in case of snakes, do they have limbs now? No. But earlier, long, long, long time ago, they had limbs. So why did the limbs disappear? Because the snakes did not use the limbs. Now, as the third postulate says that an organ which is not used, that gets degenerated. Similarly, the flightless birds, even though they have feathers, they cannot fly because they never used it that way. The webbed toes of aquatic birds. So these are all examples which supported the Lamarck's theory of evolution during that time. However, as time moved on, there came up other theories, other postulates, which very clearly proved that the fourth postulate, which talked about the acquired characters getting inherited, was not really true. In fact, few more postulates of Lamarck's, for example, the existence of internal vital force uh, was also not correct. That is, internal vital force doesn't play any role in evolution. So, so there were changes which were later made to the Lamarck's theory and then it was termed as the neo-Lamarckism, that is the new Lamarck's theory of evolution. So there, all those changes were also incorporated. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.